Hello, DF Crew exclamation point. Would it be possible to talk a little about DLSS and the different versions? DLSS is a little confusing if you ask me, especially now we have access to overrides via the NV app though only on certain games. I find myself being unsure of how to approach getting the best image quality in previous games which, which shipped with DLSS. You have DLSS 3 and DLSS 4, but is DLSS 3.10.2.1 DLSS still DLSS 3 if it's using preset E and not preset J or K? <laughs> what about the new DLSS FG? Is it only the new non-MFG FG if it's 3.10.1? Or does the quote-unquote new FG also have preset letters which enable the new VRAM saving feature? Appreciate the work you guys do and Godspeed! Exclamation point. Well, this is quite an interesting one, Alex, uh, because it certainly sounds incredibly confusing. What's the story? Mm. Well, the story is to stick to using the app in all cases when you are unsure um, and to always use the latest uh, option in the app. Um, and this will do a couple things. Latest will always use the latest preset. It doesn't... It's not in reference to the latest uh, versioning number. That It's actually controlling the preset. That's why it's a list of presets and not version numbers. And it's going to do K then, and maybe there will be a superseding uh, preset to K or, yeah, K in the future, because J was strangely released even at all, <laughs> uh, and K superseded it uh, pretty much right at launch. Um, so always use that. Uh, and that will cover strange areas. Like there have been game releases that have used the latest numbering, three, whatever you said, three one zero, etc. Um, it's not confusing whatever. at all. The, the numbers are now they're, they're they're completely out of my brain because they it, it went from a pretty static number that I could understand to one that I don't. <laughs> and uh, there have been games that ship with the latest DLLs but stick to the old preset E. Like, for example, mm. The Last of Us Part 2, when the, uh, when that released, that was the latest number, but it was still the old preset E, which is CNN model. And the FG that shipped with the game was also non-transformer. It was not MFG and required an MFG override to work. So my, uh, and that coming to the FG proportion, portion, not proportion of this, FG actually never had preset letters. As far as I understand, that was a misunderstanding from the community about what debug uh, uh, tweakable flags were available. And they just gave them preset no le letters, I believe, by mistake. I don't think that's actually the case. Uh, and rather, it was all based upon what model the game is set to use. I do not believe you can combine... Maybe you can. I haven't tried it yet, but you can combine the old model with the SR model. You technically should, but I don't understand why you'd want to do that because there's almost no advantage to it. So also for the FG model within the NVIDIA app, regardless of game, basically, unless there's a problem for some reason, I doubt it. Just always set that to latest uh, or if you really want to do yeah, okay. just, just set it to latest. And that is the most important thing. And uh, there's almost no reason to use the older version FG from what I've seen in terms of quality as well as uh, base uh, hit to FPS in games. It's going to be give you that nice 10%. So probably. what about array reconstruction? Is that included in the app? Do you, can you override that or is that still game specific? The reason I ask is that having just looked at the 2080 Ti in the Gosh. look back, Ray reconstruction is something you, with the transformer model, you wouldn't want to use on a Turing card because the performance you know, is I, huge. Okay, now, unfortunately, right before this started, I did look at the app, and I know there's three settings for override, and I don't recall there actually being a transformer option right. there for ray reconstruction. Okay. I don't think ray reconstruction is one of the added in things that are tweakable because they want that on a maybe per game basis. I... I, I do not quote me here because I'm actually not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's actually not one of the tweakables and you only have SR, uh, FG, as well as the custom parameter. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, that that will be a per game thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you yeah. what, Alex, I mean, um, the NVIDIA app and DLSS Swapper, stuff like that is really cool, but I would really like just to have like a control panel feature, which is like every game that's using DLSS, just stick it on latest if, if you can. And it's just mm -hmm, a fire right. and forget solution as opposed. Can you do that? I think it's game specific, is it? Or 
There's the global it's, option, right. uh, which should should work. But the thing is, it has to be whitelisted by NVIDIA. So you will yep. you you have to wait for driver uh, updates to start whitelisting this mm. thing. That's different. You can force every app if you use um, I forget that profile inspector. Right. NVIDIA's profile Okey inspector. Doke. Right. Okay. That works globally. Mm. All right. Okay. Fair enough. So to answer Eric's question, latest. That's pretty much it. Latest. Just don't worry about it seemingly.